Hey guys, welcome to Mutant Meals. And I'm going to show you today forgotten flavors. We're going to talk about spices. Now, this might seem like a no-brainer to some of you gourmet cooks out there. You don't need my advice. But a lot of guys ask me, what do you put on your food? You know, because they think it has to taste bad or taste have no taste at all. But uh, no, you should make your food taste good. I've got simple taste when it comes to food. I know what I like and I know what's quick and easy for me and I know what I can eat on my diet versus my off season. And these are some of the things that I use pretty much year round. Um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is cinnamon. Now a lot of people, they don't go through the trouble of adding it to their oatmeal or anything like that, but I use a lot of cinnamon in my oatmeal. I even put it in some of my shakes. It goes good with vanilla flavored powder. So, uh, but cinnamon tastes good and it's actually uh, good for making your insulin sensitivity increase. And that's all positive if you're a bodybuilder. So cinnamon, one of the things I always have in my cupboard, I carry it with me when I travel, I use it on my oatmeal. Um, and now here's one of the big ones. This is one of the big ones everyone's talking about, sea salt. Everyone's adding sea salt to their food. Um, you know, I, I like the taste of it. I love it on all my meats, my rice, uh, my eggs. I add it to pretty much everything I eat. So uh, there's sea salt. It comes in a lot of different forms. I don't get fancy with it. I know some people are really specific about what type of sea salt they use, but I just, I just like it. I like to add it to my food. And my body's so used to it now that if I go a day without it, I actually notice that I get really flat. So, you know, when, you, when your body gets used to your salt intake, um, then you can actually start to feel when you miss it. So, you know, I always make sure I take in a lot of uh, sodium in my pre-workout meal especially uh, for blood volume and to give you a good pump. And you'll really notice it. So if you don't use any salt on your food, try using some sea salt and especially try it on your pre-workout meal. That's going to be a good time to put it in. Um, now this is just, just black pepper, just ground black pepper. Um, I use it when I grill. Uh, I don't really use it in much else, but I love the flavor of it. I always put it on my steaks and stuff like that. So that's one of the things I always have. Now this is a big one, a good seasoning salt. There's you know, lots of different brands and flavors that you can get, but I just like a good plain seasoning salt. A lot of them come with MSG or with no MSG. That's one of the things I keep an eye on. This one has no MSG. This is Lowry's, it's good. Um, put it in all my stir fries and use it on the grill. And I'll use this all through my contest diet along with sea salt. I won't take it out, I use it on all my food. A lot of people think that seasonings are gonna make it harder to get lean or harder for them to lose weight, but it has nothing to do with body fat and there's no calories in it, so don't worry about it. Uh, do, one thing though, do look for sugar on the label. If it's got sugar in the label, then you know, just be aware that there's some in it, but most of the time it's trace amounts. Put this shit on everything. Frank's Red Hot, everyone knows about this if you're a bodybuilder. I should carry a bottle of this in my bag with me. I use it on all my meals, use it in all my stir fries. Uh, so yeah, that's another good way to get sodium if you're not taking in any in your diet. You know, you can increase it by using more hot sauce. Uh, my consumption of hot sauce goes way up when I'm dieting. So you know, I really like to get some flavor out of my food. Now, this teriyaki, this is the thin teriyaki marinade. If you can see how watery it is, this is the type of teriyaki that you'd you marinate your meat in overnight. You wouldn't just add it to your food afterwards. Um, now, it's very high in sodium, but I don't really worry about that. I'm actually not a fan of soy sauce. I've never liked soy sauce on my rice, but I do like this teriyaki marinade a lot. Uh, I don't use it much now, but I used it for years and years and years and years when I was growing up. I put it on all my chicken and all my steak and marinated everything in it. it uh, if you're having trouble choking your chicken down and choking your steak down and you're, you're like plowing your food and you can't get it in, Try marinating your food in something good, you know? It doesn't have to taste bad, it can taste good. And I brought this from home because it's hard to find sometimes, not all the stores have it. You know, sometimes you have to go to specialty shops to find it, but Heinz ketchup does come in a sugar reduced version. This only has uh, one gram of carb per tablespoon as opposed to five. And I use this on my scrambled egg whites in the morning and on my, you know, on all my meat and stuff. So, and I'll use this pretty deep into the diet. I don't worry about the trace amount of, of, you know, trace amount of calories in this. I will cut it out the last week or so, but yeah, this is fine. So sugar-free ketchup, hot sauce, and sea salt are my number one 
picks for all my main meals. I like a good steak spice and sometimes a teriyaki. And there you go, cinnamon on your oats, don't forget. And that's it, forgotten flavors. I keep it simple. I don't need a lot of things to make my food taste good, but definitely don't suffer. You don't have to choke down flavorless food. So it's Big Ron Parlo for Mutant Meals. Thanks a lot, guys. Try it out. If you're having trouble choking your chicken and you're, you're like plowing and you can't get it in. You like that? I was watching, I was waiting for you to laugh. <laughs>